Robert De Niro is one of the biggest actors in history where he's done 137 movies that made $5.5 billion, but now he's being silenced. Of the 137 movies Robert De Niro has made, 10 of those movies are with Martin Scorsese, where they've done films such as Taxi Driver, Casino, and Goodfellas together. Martin Scorsese movies are much longer than the average film, which average at 95 minutes, where his movies average at 155 minutes. Theaters don't like longer movies because they can't sell as many tickets due to schedule, and Martin Scorsese has had to edit some of his movies because of that. That's why Martin Scorsese began moving away from theaters and into streaming, where his longest movie ever, The Irish is 209 minutes and Netflix paid him $110 million to do it. And why Martin Scorsese went to Apple TV Plus for Killers of the Flower Moon, which was the first time him, Robert De Niro, and Leonardo DiCaprio did a movie together. Robert De Niro's politics have become a factor where he is a vocal critic of Donald Trump and also a proud Democrat. Apple told Robert De Niro they don't want to get political about Trump and asked him not to mention Donald Trump in any speeches regarding Killer of the Flower Moon. Robert De Niro fought back in the speech, trashing Donald Trump and also trashing Apple for silencing him. And it's not like they're going to ruin him at 80. With that, I'm Charles Pearl. Subscribe to learn something.